Hello friends, welcome to Amosapti Webcast. So this is the first video of our new video tutorial series on basic networking with Windows Server 2012 R2 and today we are going to see the lesson on DHCP server. Every computer needs an address to communicate on an IP network and this address can be provided either manually or automatically. DHCP is a network protocol that enables a server to automatically assign an IP address to computer from a defined range of IP address on the DHCP server. The DHCP protocol simplifies configuration of IP client in a network environment. If you do not use DHCP each time you add a client to a network, you need to configure it with information about the network on which you install it, including the IP address, the network subnet mask, and the default gateway for access to the other networks. When you need to manage many computers in a network, managing them manually can become a time-consuming process. Many corporations manage thousands of computer devices, including handhelds, desktop computers, laptops. So therefore, it is not feasible to perform manual management of network IP configuration for organization of this size. So that's why it is recommended to use DHCP on a large network. DHCP consists of mainly three components. First, a DHCP server application that responds to client requests for TCP IP configuration settings. Second, a DHCP client issues a request to server and applies the TCP IP configuration settings it received to the local computer. Third, a DHCP communication protocol defines the format and sequence of messages exchanged by the DHCP client and server. So this are, these are the main three components of DHCP server. So in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install DHCP server role on Windows Server 2012 R2. So for this demonstration, I am using this Windows Server 2012 R2. A data center evolution edition machine and on that we are going to install DHCP server role. So before you install a DHCP server role on Windows Server 2012 R2 make sure your computer has a one static IP assigned on that computer. So as you are seeing currently I have a, a DHCP assigned IP on this computer so let's set a static IP address to this server. Select the property and the IP version 4 specify the use the following IP address Okay, and close this. So if you see the status and click on detail, as you are seeing, now we have a 192.160.10.11 IP address and with the gateway and so on. So let's start the installation of DHCP server role. So let's install DHCP server role on this server and to do that, click on manage, select add roles and features. On before you begin page, it is saying that the administrator account has a strong password. Uh, you have already set the static IP address on this server and you have to install the uh, latest security updates from Microsoft. Okay, so click on next to continue. On uh, select installation type, select role base or feature based installation and then click on next. Uh, on select destination server, select our local server and that is we have uh, only one server and that is 2 k 12 r 2 well and the IP address is 192.168.10.11 that is our local server and then click on next. On a select server role, select DHCP server. Once you select a DHCP server, it will ask you to add a feature that is required by DHCP server and that is a DHCP server management tools. Uh, click on add features to add it and then click on next continue. Click on next on select feature page. Uh, on DHCP server, just brief over your information, things to note, you should configure at least one static IP address on this computer. Before you install DHCP server, you should plan your subnet scope and exclusion. Store the plan in a safe place for a later reference according to your network setting. So click on next and click on install to start the installation. And that's it. Once the installation complete, uh, you have to complete the DHCP configuration and you have to launch the DHCP post installation configuration wizard to complete the DHCP configuration. So you are saying uh, it will create a following security group for delegation of DHCP server administration. One is DHCP administrator. The member of this group have a full control over DHCP and second one is the DHCP users. Click on commit to create that security group on this computer and it's successfully created. Click on close to continue and click on close. So once you install the DHCP server role, click on tools and open DHCP management console to manage your DHCP server. 
So that's it for this video demonstration. In the next video demonstration, we'll talk about the DHCP scope. Thanks for watching this video.